Okay, what I'm trying to show here is um, expansion of graphite. Uh, just drop some intercalated graphite in a, in a very hot pan, and uh, that's what you get. But the reason I'm showing this one is, more often than not, when you do it in a microwave, you still get all these pesky silvery bits that just haven't actually gone um, into expansion, which is a it's a nuisance. So this this method seems to get all those little bits as well you know uh, I'll just show you what I mean I'll just tip some of this in there you go so that's one way, one way one method of getting rid of all those other little bits um, I'm not sure that this expands as as well as in a microwave but what I'm saying is you could actually finish off in a pan like this if you do end up with those little silvery bits of uh, unexpanded graphite so I thought that might be of uh, help to someone really um, pesky little silvery bits look I'll just do that again. Just put some more of this in there. You can see all the little silver bits that haven't expanded. And there you go. Nicely cooked. Now what I'll do is um, I'll take some of this and put it a spoonful in the microwave and see if it expands further. So I'll be back. Um, the expansion in a microwave is definitely more of an expansion because you can physically see that the worms there are much more expanded than, that, than those there. Um, but also of course You've got all those pesky silvery bits, look, that haven't expanded. So even with this, what I'm going to have to do is um, put this in the pan. To get rid of all of that. Now the other thing is you can smother this stuff smother it you don't get full expansion but I'm gonna finish off this this there in the my um, in the pan and uh, obviously expand what I, what I do in the pan back into the microwave so yeah another one it's like out what you need to do is put your intercalated graphite in a pan first get rid of all those little silvery bits and then expand it in the microwave job done <laughs>